Good afternoon. My name is Mr. Darotondo. We have met again on PCP, Principle of Computer Programming. Now we are continuing with our question paper that says in our code, we must not allow the user to enter zero marks and also we must do data validation and we must also display appropriate error messages and allow the user to correct their input and should they be incorrect cater for the different types of users input and not crash so let's get done with it all right what you do you come here on where you assign okay where you assign let's start with the one that deals with number we say if is numeric if it's numeric what is it that it has to be numeric our txt price don't forget to put the text right dot text if then it's numeric it's gonna bypass Sorry for this. Sorry. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, thank you. All right, all right. Here we're gonna do this to clean this error. And free if and and if so okay this is how we fix it our error is gone so now if it's numeric txt price then it will assign this but then else it's not numeric therefore message box therefore message box let's show message box must let us that input numbers numbers okay let's come to our second one which is this one okay let's do this to avoid that error let me pass two lines if is is numeric is to be numeric txt deposit text if it's numeric then let's just copy it as it is in fact cut it let's cut it in here control v, x control v so then if it's numeric then it will assign this but then if not if we go for else else message box to show message box to show message box to show okay. on the post Okay, let's run it and see. Let's say here it's numbers, but then here are letters. Let's see what's gonna be calculated 
on deposit insert numbers okay you come back here insert your numbers you calculate and there we go let's say on vehicle you put letters input numbers not letters and then it allows you to go back and input numbers then you calculate that's how it is done here we exit okay so let me show you something again and maybe now it is not the issue of putting the number or the letters where it's supposed to be numbers let's say maybe now you have omitted maybe your text box it's empty so then we say if okay txt price dot text equals to two strings equals to two strings already this as the default is you guys are allowing me to do string i was wondering okay string empty then our message box numbers on vehicle they must be numbers okay another message box of price is empty so this is how it will be done this is how you do data validation and also the inputting of numbers and displaying the error messages so now if you wanna add on deposit, you just do the same thing. It's a repetition of the same thing. If you have any question, let me know. I'll come back and answer to you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Enjoy.